the Smoking Jacket Hour with your host, Ken Oki. To anyone watching, hello and greetings and all the other good stuff. Oh, I actually see someone on here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Glad to see someone actually came over. It's always nice to at least have someone who might be listening. <laughs> so yes, um, I am Kenoki from many, many places, Slack, IRC, things of that sort. And this is my channel, The Smoking Jacket Hour. And I want to say, is it Boy DJ or Bode J? I think it's Bode J because it's capital J, isn't it? Wait for chat to catch up, as always. <laughs> but thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. I really do, actually. So I am going to attempt to play. Hopefully I hit the right one. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to attempt to play a little bit of Toho here. If you don't know what that is, uh, I can give you a quick rundown. It's basically a bunch of shooting games. It's pronounced like boot. Okay, I will keep. I will definitely remember that then. Interesting. So, what are Toho games? They are well schmups to a certain extent. Uh, all created by one guy named Zune, who owns a company called Shanghai Alice. Been creating these 20 plus years now. Uh, by himself. Pretty cool, actually, if you think about it. What I'm going to be playing tonight... Let me flip over to it here. Come on, game. There you are, game. Hi, game. This is Toho Phantasmagoria of Flower View... Or Toho Keizuki. It's Keizuka. Kaizuka. <laughs> I can't even read that. Anywho, this is one of the many games he's created over the years. Uh, this is the ninth in the series out of 15 official, not including all the dots. There's been like 7, 5, and 11, 3, and 11, 5, and 11, 8, and 13, etc., etc. Uh, this is one of the few that he created that was actually a split-screen game. All the others are a typical um, single character, lots of things flying, crazy stuff like that. And this one was actually meant to be played uh, two players. And even online, there was a... Uh... <laughs> yes, uh, I'll... Uh, this, this was actually designed to be played online using a modification, uh, so it's kind of actually kind of cool. Uh, I want to make sure the volumes are not too loud. So, uh, the general premise of most Toho games uh, is they're called uh, Danmaku or bullet hell games, meaning it's basically a flood of things flying at you, and you have to dodge them with a tiny, tiny little hitbox on your character. Very small. Uh, the hitbox got better over the years. Uh, just because people were complaining as it got more popular that they were kept dying a lot. That's what happens when you play games, I guess. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and just get this started up here. We'll do normal because the others are just insane. And then these are the characters I can actually choose from. So, Hakure Remu, who is a Miko. Uh, Kirisami Marisa, who is a witch. Uh, Izayo, Iza, Izayoi Sakuya. Ah, hi, casual gamer guy. Welcome. 
Hello, casual gamer guy Kuhn or Chan. <laughs> so yeah, he's Aosakura, who is the uh, head maid of Komokan. You have Kompaku Yomu, who is a half human, half yokai. And Reisen Udonge Inaba, who is a. She's supposed to be a moon rabbit, but her ears are not actually real. They're kind of buttoned onto the top of her head, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I think just for starts, I'll just go ahead and fire up with uh, Nemu and go from there. So let's see, what do we got here? Uh, da -da -da -da, spring is being weird. Uh, something's coming, something's coming. Oh, it's Chirono, of course. Uh, this is the uh, Baka Yose, which is from the sixth game. The instruction book actually has um, labels for bullet, character, field, etc., etc. And the last one is 09, which was pointed at Chirono, which, be which was just labeled as Baka. And that's kind of stuck throughout the entire genre. Uh, the idea behind this style as you can kind of see is it's just a everything comes from the top and you shoot it and etc you basically are shooting little fairies kill the fairies kill the fairies <laughs> um the idea is these little things that look like wings that are flapping around are actually the return shots uh from the opposing player in this case it's just the ai oh and i got hit um and when you hit them, when you volley them back, basically, they increase in power to the point that it will actually cause a larger explosion. And the higher you get it, you can see that my gauge has actually been filling up because each time I send one over, it actually sends, it increases on the very bottom. Boop. The very bottom of that bar increases. So the more power I have, the better my superpower will be once I actually fire it off, which I didn't have to because of course uh the other the ai character died F other funny note is um when the enemy dies it doesn't it says winner for you but it says dead parrot for the loser which i have yet to figure out why i think excuse me oh my i should not have had that but i did um it's just kind of a weird thing to see dead parrot <laughs> but it's all fun i love these these games are quite fun um like i said this is this is the oddball this is really one of the oddballs out because of the, this split screen oh hi amaterasu yes i'm a nerd boy nerd boy well actually <laughs> <laughs> See, glad to see you guys are actually in here. I actually like it. I like having people in here because it actually gives me someone to kind of interface with. Let's see. Do I have my? Oh, I do have slow mode. Good, good. I forgot about that. Um, that is actually one of the nice things about slow mode is you can do this and it kind of s puts everything into a easier to manage bullet dodging thing. Except when I do that, of course, <laughs> and crap and run into it to and without thinking. You know, talking and gaming. So very, very hard. I don't know how other people do it all the time. It's just like, it boggles my mind. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, people. Everyone can be in here. So, Prism, Prism River Sisters. One of the River Sisters. But if I do the slow mode, you can actually kind of see that little tiny white box in the center is my hitbox. So that's what I have to avoid getting hit every time. I don't want to die. Nope. And if I charge, there's my charge. Oh, it's charge level one. Anyways. But yeah. The nice thing is, this is normal. So it's, you know, fairly busy looking on the screen what 
am I at? I'm at just shy level three. Oh, and now they just fired off their level four. So I'll fire off my level three. Uh, uh. <laughs> I lucked out on that one. <laughs> most of the times I have not actually been able to complete a normal level on most of these. Um, it is fairly difficult. Don't know why, but just is. Uh, this is, oh, this is uh, Inabate, who's one of the Earth rabbits in the series, which I think she only appears in this game. Most of the characters usually have multiple multiple appearances. Um, uh, Hakure Remu is the has been the main protagonist through every single game that's been released, uh, with the exception of some of the Dot series. Uh, the Dot series contained like uh, Shamimaru Aya, who is a, a Tengu or Crow demon, who is in charge of the newspaper in this world, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Uh, another one was um, Dai Yose um, Senzoku, which is the the um, giant fairy wars, which basically all the fairy characters were included in that one. What's that in the top left? Uh, um, the top left of the screen. Top left of the screen is the score and the bombs that I have. So I can actually fire off a special bomb that will actually clear the entire screen of all of the bullets that are currently in there. So that's kind of handy to have. I usually forget that I have them. <laughs> so I almost never use them. <laughs> yeah, uh, spell point is more of um, kind of like... Uh, uh, keeping a steady, a steady uh, constant hit. So if I don't miss... A single shot, the hit the hit counter goes up each time, which increases my bonus basically. Yeah, so you have you have uh, two scores actually. You have the uh, overall score, which is actually the one that's on the right side here. So the seventy six seven hundred seven point six million. And then you have the level score, which is on the left. No problem. Uh, but yeah, a, te a Tengu that is in charge of the newspaper. Um, the a lot of what Zune does with this series is very whimsical in nature. A lot of what he does uh, with the games are borrowed from uh, Mythos. So, um, originally a lot of the original games were all based off of Japanese mythos. So you had like Tengu, you have Kappa, you have, uh, you know, Mikos. And for some reason, there, uh, Marisa, who is actually a witch, was included in some of the very first series. So it's not really Japanese mythos per se. At, well, at all. <laughs> um... But someone like Yomu, for example, follows Japanese mythos. Um, a lot of the animal characters follow Japanese mythos, so like Kitsune's, uh, Nekomata, um, uh, boy, a lot of their names just escaped me for some odd reason. Oh, and behind me is that's Chen. She's watching over, as always. <laughs> She's from the sixth, the uh, sixth game. She was one of the uh, early mid bosses, basically. Um, what else was there? Oh yes. Um, so what he, what Zune has done um, later in the years after creating the games is he actually started writing books about the series. So he'd take the characters and he would actually create entire books based upon them, and to. Get to basically to show the story, he used um, 
he uses Aya, who is the newspaper Tengu, to go and collect stories, take pictures, and put them into the books. He then has another character who kind of is the... He's not really a protagonist, but he's the, he is actually the only male character of the entire universe, but he's not in any of the games. He's actually only in the books themselves. And that was... Um, Boy, having to think about this while dodging stuff is so so painful. Um, oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> oh, not a problem. I'm a, I'm a Not a problem. Um. Uh, do you know Skay? Uh, Moricha, Mori, Morichika Dionosuke. Oh, I actually died. Wow. Um, he's the only male character who's ever actually referenced within the actual Toho. Or, well, I say Toho. Toho's the game. The actual world that they all live in is called Gensokyo, which is basically the mystic, mystical realm between, between borders located somewhere in Japan. And it's kind of why I like this mythos because it's basically saying that somewhere in the mountain ranges of Japan is this uh, bubble space where all these people live that are trapped kind of in uh, like the early 1800s of uh, Japan where basically time has kind of stood still where basically humans and yokai and uh, oni and other assorted mythos all live together sort of in harmony the yokai still try to you know eat humans because that's their main food source oh crap let's see let me bomb let's clear that out there we go oh thank you <laughs> thank you casual i it is rather difficult <laughs> especially when i have like knives flying at me it's all good there we go Oh, yeah, the other aspect of this game is timing it, because if you hit the fairies just when those little flapping things come down, oh, good, um, it sends it back with more power, even more power than before. So, um, But yes, the entire un the entire universe is set in, the, in a realm called Gensokyo, which is basically the border realm. Um, it is operated by the Hakure Shrine, which is basically a Miko. Uh, there is a new Miko every so often that needs to be re actually added, um, since... They are only human. They actually die. So every so often a new one appears. But uh, Hakure is currently current. Or, uh, Nemu is currently the uh, the current Miko for Gensokyo for Hakure Shrine. Oh, speaking of Aya, there's Aya right there. Shamiyamoto Aya. Um, her whole purpose in life is basically to keep that shrine operating and keep the border up and running so it does not break into the current world. Um, but it doesn't prevent the current world from actually seeping in. And that's where the story gets kind of interesting. Um, part of um, Morichika Dionosuke's, uh backstory is that he's, he is a, a goodsman. He finds things and he sells them. And uh, the Prism River that runs through Gansokyo carries items in that don't exist in their realm. Uh, in one of the stories, they actually find a Game Boy, <laughs> which none of them have ever seen before. And he is, his special ability is he's able to sort of get the gist of what the item can do, but he doesn't know what it, what it is actually fully capable of doing. And that's kind of how the entire world works. Ah, hi, Mekelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Oh my gosh, I am doing so bad. <laughs> Alright, I'll send off my mate, my level 4 there. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the entire the entire premise of it is basically it's a tiny little fraction of ancient Japan that has been kept inside of a bubble uh, that still manages to interface with the outside world. Um, Shami Maru Aya, for example, since she uses a she uses an old uh, thirty five millimeter camera for all she, she does. Uh, later on, one of her uh, associate uh, Tengu uh, actually has a cell phone that she uses to take pictures of everything in Gensokyo. Oh crap! Filthy non scrubs. Oh my gosh, she's just spamming me. Stop it, Aya, no. <laughs> Give money. If, if, if I ever actually became partnered, I think I would flip out. I don't know what I would, I really don't know what I would actually do because it's like, this is just for fun. It'd be crazy for me. Give them the monies. All the monies. Oh, that was close. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I'm out of power. Oh my gosh, this is getting bad. This is getting crazy. This is going insane. And there's Aya, of course. At least they're kind enough to show me where the boss is at the bottom of the screen. So at least I know where to shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> I can be your lady if you like. Oh, come on. Get. Yes. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oh, I died. I done died it. I done died it. With that, I need to take a quick break. I need to take care of something real quick, but I'll be right back. Don't worry, I'm not leaving everyone. <laughs> be right back, everyone. Did you like the chair stream? Was it, was it the most amazing thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Oops. Didn't mean to do that, but I did that. Oh! Gotta have, gotta have the sweatshirt on. It's cold. 
Granted, cold for me is when it dips below 20 degrees, then yeah, that's cold. That's C Celsius for you people. Celsius. Because I live in a country that works in metric. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. I grew up in America, so growing up there was interesting considering everything was in uh, imperial oh why hello gizmotin don't believe i've actually ever seen you before welcome hope you hope you will enjoy something if i start get back to playing here i have something to drink here ah i'm not eating it's just drink drink is okay can't have you can't have me dying from thirst that'd be bad um, what was I? Yes, back to chair stream. Would you like to see Chen stream? There's Chen stream. Yeah, back to stream. <laughs> I got caught up on a cable. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me try this again. I want to beat up Aya. I need to beat up Aya. Got to do it. Got to do it. Not get killed. No, killed bad. Kill is bad. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now that I'm kind of focusing a little bit, just a just a little bit, not much. Let's see. No, that won't work. Nope. 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 Hey, nope. Um, I think I'm four. Oh yeah, I can. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's send that over. That's a better sound. I like that sound. I don't know how the volume is for you guys. I, I, I keep trying to tweak this up so I can actually get people to hear the game music and things of that sort. Oh, I just got hit badly. Um... <clears throat> Oh, 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 nope, 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 no, 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 but yeah, that's part of, that's part of my love for these games, actually, it's the music, um, partially just because, like, I, like, I said before, uh, everything in this game was actually created by one person. And I do mean everything. All of the programming, the art assets, the music, character stories, etc. One person did all this. And that to me is just absolutely amazing. Um, but the music is what's always stuck with me. It's one of, the, it's one of my things about video games. Um, I will always consider music the first and foremost thing when I'm playing. If the music is something that I get hooked into, then usually it's like, well, the rest of it seems pretty decent, so I'll go with it, but. <laughs> Hello, Japao Pao. Welcome. Hope you enjoy the game. Hope you enjoy the stream. My tiny little, tiny little stream. From Tokyo, Japan, where it's, it's that late at night. Yes, it's 8.30 in the night. That's right, I did just did get home. Oh, I should get that mouse out of the way there. Jeez, that was silly of me. Silly mouse. How could I? I left the mouse. Oh, excuse me. I dare say. Yeah. I I managed to get lucky as it were, um, moving here. Um I actually moved to Japan. Just a little over a year ago, about a year and a couple months, some change, etc. And um, I actually managed to get a technical position. So I'm actually working in what I do best, being a Linux geek. And I'm quite happy about that, actually, because I could have done teaching. 
Nothing against teachers, because I, I have a lot of friends who are still teachers, but I don't think I could ever do it. <laughs> it's just, it's too, too much for me to try and get through. Ooh, that was a boo-boo. Um, it's just too much for me, trying to teach people to speak English. It would, I think I would go crazy, more so. Super crazy. Super crazy, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, welcome Zor Zagrog. I know I'm probably slaughtering people's names, but I go with what I have. It's what I see. I'm gonna go with it. And if you ever want to see someone play bad at games, here you go. <laughs> This is playing games badly. That's right. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome. Konbanwa. I guess that'd be appropriate. It is that time of day or night, as it were. Uh, Guten Abend. I think it's the other one. If I'm saying that right, it's been a while. I studied German a long time ago. Can't remember it at all. But that's what happens. Oh, crap. That was the bad move. Um. Oh, jeez. Come on, there's just one little small fragment of health left. I need to get her. Oh, wonderful. Half. Only halfway through your day. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh, thank goodness. I beat Komachi. Thank goodness. I beat Komachi, who's dead parrot. Which is so weird because the, the kanji... <laughs> um... There, there is a, there is usually, there is usually a pattern when it comes to how the, uh, bullet spread is. Um... And most times people people will memorize it. For me, I don't have any clue. I just go with what I see on the screen at the time and well, that's what you see. That that is purely just chaos. That's me trying to stay alive. Um yeah. <laughs> but there are there are uh, a few a few times where uh, there is actually a, a very steady pattern that you can actually follow and place your character in the sweet spot as it were. So uh, but I was just noticing that uh, the kanji written behind um, finger. There we go. Uh, Komachi, who uh, um, is Make Inu, which means lost, the dog that lost. <laughs> oh, I actually made it the final. I only used one continue to get here. Cool. Let's see. Shikiki Yamazanadu. That's right. I forgot. I forgot this was who was the end boss for this game. She is a judge, and she judges people based upon their life, upon what they've done with their life, and judges you either black or white, meaning heaven or hell. Ah, yeah. Um, Shamimaru, Shamimaru Aya's uh, game. Um, where she basically takes pictures to damage the characters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I if I hold my slow button, you can see the hitbox on my character. It's just that little tiny glowing white thing in the center there. Um, most of the games prior to this, they was actually a lot smaller. It was it was really hard to track it sometimes too. That's how bad it got. Uh, the later games, it's definitely much better. Oh, so much better. So if you've um, so if you've played um, was it uh, shooting shooting bullet? No, no, no. Um, 
Oh, jeez. Why is it? Why the name escape me? Well, thinking thinking hurts right now because of all this mess that's going on. Um, so, w have you played others of the series then, uh, Zagrog? Seeing seeing as you've played one of the the, uh, the dots the dots as I call them because they're not from they're not the usual standard Shanghai release schedules. Shoot the bullet. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Hello, Gizmotin. Oh, you have Chirinol. Nice. I like that. I need, I need to s subscribe to that channel just so I can get those. <laughs> Hi, Japapau. Welcome. Uh oh, something's coming. Something's happening. I can feel it. Yeah, the first time I actually was introduced to Toho Games was a f a friend of mine who's a huge, huge just into shmups, you know, like Salamander, Gradius, um, things like that. Oh, nice. So you have you have the PC ninety eight stuff. That's that's really cool, actually. That's the that's the harder stuff to play. That's PC ninety eight stuff is painful to play. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, I hit no. Ha 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 ha. Boop 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 boop. Boop. Do, 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 do. Input the name. Input the name. Yeah. Name input it. See how bad that was. Mmm. Yeah. Definitely. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite games are probably six and seven just because those are the ones i think have the have the better to me mythos of the of the series because in six um six is komakon which is uh toho kurenai and uh seven is um um perfect cherry blossom which is the one with uh yakumo and Yo yomu and uh yu 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 sama so yeah so the one yes yeah, so you're thinking of uh six which is which was the first actual pc release game the others were released on pc 98 which was the uh strange system that was only available in japan <laughs> built on a very strange platform it was still sort of dos based sort of <laughs> Uh, I would play I would play six and seven, but unfortunately, um, they were some of the early games that Zune had created, and they didn't have separate volume controls. So they're quite bad for streaming because I can't control the volume level yet. I need to get some virtual or figure out a way to reroute some of my audio. I mean, I have multiple inputs on my mixing board. I just need to get it fixed set up for that. Would love to play those though. I, I, I love six and seven. Six and seven are still to this day some one of my favorites. I, I really like those in the series. That's I mean hence. That's why I have Chen in the background. She's uh, from uh, six or no from seven. Because six is um, Kuketsuki and Majo. Well, it's the Scarlet Sisters. Uh, Pachiri Knowledge, who's the librarian, who you, who you referenced there. Um, Hong Meirin, the guard, the uh, gate guard, and uh, Izawa Sakio, who's the head, um, the head maid at the at the mansion, along with uh, where Chirino makes her first appearance as Baka. Baka, 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 Baka. <laughs> Which, if you've never listened to Eosis, that's actually one of the first songs I remember from them. 
long time ago. Very long time ago. Yep. Ice Girl, Chiruno. Or uh, Marukyu. Or Baka. Or however you want to look at it. Because that's how that entire thing went down. <laughs> Let's switch, switch games here. That was 2005. Wow, I forgot how old that was. That's 10 years ago. Holy crap. That's an old game. <laughs> and it still plays at 60 FPS. Somehow he programmed it that it would actually work at 60 FPS that long ago. I don't know how. It's amazing. Or maybe he just knew how to actually write good code. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see. Baka, baka. All right. Let me flip that button. There's another one. This is Mountain of Faith. Oh, let's see. Proper name. Ho ho, Fujin Roku. Well, then you have a very good friend. <laughs> That's loud on my side of things there, turn that down. Um, yeah, I got I got introduced to it from a, from a friend as well. Um, but I mean, this was years and years and years ago when I was still living in the states at the time. So you actually couldn't get the games unless you downloaded them, you know, by alternate means, as always. Um, it's like only recently that you could actually buy them online. Um, J List actually now has a deal where they will they actually can sell the games across the seas. So if you can get them through there by all means if you're interested in this kind of style I mean it's definitely not a game for everyone without a doubt um, well that's why it's so loud there we go that's better uh, shot special slow pause skip there we go I hadn't set my keys for this um, yeah, definitely not for everyone. Um, just to give you kind of an example. So what I've been playing usually is normal. Um, this is Lunatic. The reason why they call these bullet hell games is, well, that was not part of the reason right there. Uh, that is part of the reason right there. <laughs> Along with this. And this. And that, and that, and that. And some of this, and much more of that. It's actually a lot faster shooting, at least in this one. The tenth of series, it actually made it faster bullets. And just filled the screen. Yeah, I, I jammed myself in the corner on that one. If I come up here, I can get all the power-ups. That was an add-on that he did much later on in the series, was you could actually go up to a border. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, dead. Definitely, definitely dead. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, that was a function he added later on. Um, prior to that, you had to be, oops, uh, you had to have full power in order to do a full screen. Uh, screen wipe but this item border get line that he added later on was so you could actually just come up here and get all the stuff that's on screen and that was because people I guess were like well I can't score enough points because it oh geez um, it all disappears too fast by the time I get near the item so I can't get enough points to you know max out my life or whatever because he changed that as well a couple times Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, they didn't don't go over too well. I don't know how I got better score on that. Jeez. Uh Yoyaku. Yoyaku, Yoyaku. Um yeah. So anyways, I was trying to say, I guess earlier. 
was music. Um, like I said, the music the music is one of the thriving things for me in games. I love music. Just absolutely adore it. Um, one of my earliest memories of playing a game was the Final Fantasy series. The very first game that came out on the NES. Or Famicom, depending on which region you're in. Um, that song has stuck with me forever. It just, I cannot forget it. It's such a beautiful song. And kind of one of the reasons why I still play the Final Fantasy games to this day. It's, I mean, I kind of stopped around 8, kind of sort of picked up 9. Still enjoy it. Whoops. Yeah, this is lunatic mode. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the music has always been a, kind of a draw to me with, with games. I just really like them. Um, I actually got a chance to go to the um, distant... Oh my gosh. My brain has just left me. But um, it's basically the concert that they started holding back in 2007 um, with uh, Nobue. Who actually created all the Final Fantasy music? He did it, you know, the orchestral. They did orchestral sessions with the music, and I actually got to go to the one here in Tokyo, and I really, really liked it. It's so beautiful, absolutely wonderful. Distant Worlds, thank you. I, boy, this is what happens when you work work all day and come to play video games. Your brain just goes that way. The albums are beautiful. Absolutely love them. Uh, being able to actually hear it live in a concert hall. Um, and he was actually there. It just, it, it was really, really absolutely touching and beautiful. I just, oh, yeah. <laughs> Such good stuff. Kind of reason why I was, I was uh, originally a music major before I switched over to computer engineering. But yeah, sometimes I still wish I could have done it. But it, that's life. That's how it goes. What am I here? Oh, only got 10 minutes or so? Yeah. Er. Maybe longer. We'll see. It is labeled as a smoking jacket hour. So I usually do it run about an hour just because that's about as long as my brain will last. <laughs> Sometimes I go a little bit longer. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't even know what I have available to me. Hmm. Hmm. Let me scratch my goats, my goatee. Oh, you have a really cool friend that has <laughs> gotten you into a lot of really nice things. <laughs> That's actually kind of wonderful. <laughs> Let me enjoy some, some of my drink again. It's just to show you, this is um, Fresca Lemon Ginger Ale. This is a new thing in Japan right now because they don't have Fresca here. So uh, Coca-Cola decided to actually release it here as this Lemon Ginger Ale. See, look at all that crazy Japanese writing. Look at that. Crazy. Crazy stuff, I'm telling you. It's crazy. What other game do I have? What other what else do I have? Hmm. No. No. Yeah, I could show you fifteen. That's the that was actually released the uh this summer. Um at Comic K eighty eight. Comic Market eighty eight. Which I I've been I'm going to get a lot of comic case since I moved here, which is kind of nice, having that option available. So wonderful. I love it. He's so nice. I like to go to the things. They're fun. It's for fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is one. This is the... Uh, <laughs> 
Yes, product placements. You will suffer from them. You can try to unsub, but I'll somehow get you back in here. <laughs> I already took the label off of it, but I, did actually, I actually have Dr. Pepper here. I already drank that, though. I drank that earlier. I had my Dr. Pepper. Dr. Dr. Pepper. Um, this was a new thing they added to the series in uh, 15. Point device mode, which basically means that you... It's a um, just a run. You just go straight through. There is nothing. Uh, legacy mode is the actual traditional Toho type style. So all the uh, items and power-ups and things like that. Uh, point device I've actually sort of toyed with a little bit. It is kind of weird. Um, but in this one, you actually get uh, Reimu, Marisa, Sanae, and Udonge as a playable character now. Which actually, let me play as a Udonge. Let me play as a Udonge. Do, 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 do. Oops, and that's point device. You basically get one life. <laughs> you can kind of see it. it actually says disabled up uh, where the life bar normally is. So you have to basically kind of you know one shot the entire game. But it has this interesting mechanic now of inst instead of like uh, typical graze, which is where you get as close to the bullets as possible to score points. Uh, it actually causes the item drops to slow down. So you actually can... Oops, not do that! Um, you actually can uh, cause the little little bonus items to kind of slow down a little bit so you can pick them up in, in a little bit, essentially. But it has that same border function that they, they added later on from, like, I think, 9... Nine on, if I remember correctly. So you can pick them up from there. Of course, the further you let them go, the more point you actually get when it makes contact with you, which is good. Bzzzt. Bzzzt. Getting buzzed by the grays. Timer! Got the timer. Sweet. Spell piece get. Oh yeah, it has the other the other weird function of the um, sp the fragments as opposed to whole pieces. So you have to actually pick up pieces in order to get your bombs and huh, lives. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's it's a crazy mode. Lazy mode, like I said, is the uh, regular traditional style uh, Toho game. And my mouse is in the way again. Why did I do that? Jeez. Where you actually have lives. In slow mode. But, yeah. Fun little thing, though. Um, these little item boxes that you pick up. Uh, the red ones are your power bar. They increase the number of uh, sh shots or uh, options if you're used to like uh, Gradius style uh, gameplays. It increases that number. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Um, so you shoot more stuff. Good stuff, good times. Uh, the blue ones are just points. You get more points, and it increases depending upon the game. It either depend it either increases your life or it increases nothing, <laughs> which is kind of odd. But this one, it added a uh, the later games. I think from ten or eleven on. You have to actually defeat the boss without getting hit, and you pick up a fragment of either health or power bombs. 
Which, actually, let me fire up a power bomb. So Udonge's power bomb actually is kind of interesting because it basically gives her shields, like that. So I can actually take a, uh, take uh, three hits before I actually take any damage, which is kind of nice. Unless I do that and waste all of them in one shot. Silly me. It's my power up. That's the problem. I'm so low powered right now. So weak. So very weak. Oh my goodness. My nose is itchy. Terribly sorry if you have to see me scratch my nose. My schnoz. Um, this is kind of the creepy rabbit Sadon, who appears to have beaten someone with her uh, rice mallet. <laughs> it's not red, but it definitely looks like it could have been someone's head that she hit with that. <laughs> oh, here we go. Full power. The only bonus you get from restarting, usually. Well, unless you do that. Um, is the game will start typically start you off with full power or give you the full power boost items. So you actually start like that. And I am just like... It's all kinds of... <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh goodness gracious. It's so bad. It's so very bad. I haven't even made it past the first boss yet. That's how bad I'm doing today. Maybe I should get some more sleep. Nah. So I don't know how many of you have actually been watching the Yogg's Yogg's cast Christmas stream. I've been trying to watch it. Unfortunately, they start around 2 a.m. my time, and so I'm usually completely wiped out by then. Otherwise, I would be watching it all the time. I mean, when when Hat Films does it, you know, they usually start about 1 a.m. my time, so they run them up for about two hours, which isn't too bad. But for me to watch the entire Christmas streams would put me into basically I should be on my way to work by that point in time. <laughs> kind of dangerous. Yeah. Oops. Oops. I hit that. Didn't mean to. Yeah. Oh, there's the hitbox. Which I just got hit by. Cool. Excellent. I found the hitbox and got hit. Sleep. What is sleep? Unfortunately, getting older means that now I crave sleep even more than I used to when I was a teenager. Which kind of sucks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I forgot about that. Graze! So much grazing. Yeah, there we go. So there it is. There's that S, which gives me a bonus. It gives me a life piece. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's see, return your title. How to play the game. Here's your story. Lots of story. As you have story with Remu and Sanae, and story with Marisa and Udonge. Game mode, character selection screens, pictures, items, so power ups, point items, special green point items, and Kazu Kazu items, which are the uh, little. Fragment pieces for the heart, the heart, and the um, bombs, bombs, yeah, bombs. 
Chapter 9 So, yeah. But I think that will do it for tonight. I'm actually... Maybe going to sleep? We'll see about that. But I do appreciate that everyone did actually come in to watch. I don't actually have that many that usually come through, so... I like it. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Follow if you like. I, I, I'm trying to do this on a schedule, so maybe about the same time. Um, we'll see. I am starting a new game. Or a new game. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm starting a new job in January, actually, here. Uh, moving to a new, uh, totally new company. And so we'll see what kind of schedule I have with them. It should be about should be about the same. So, Captain Japan, look, I have my PlayStation Two sweatshirt on. This is how old this sweatshirt is. I got this for free at a at an event. I can't tell my right from my left because of the camera. <laughs> But anyways, thank you all. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, like I said, I'll probably be streaming about the same time, uh, which is... Mm, let me think about this. Uh, 8 p.m. JST, which means 1 p.m. GMT on Thursdays. That's the plan. Don't hold me to it because I don't even know what's going to happen yet. This is just up and this is up in the air. This is something for me to do. Something to do. I like doing things. Do you like doing things? Hello. I have a spit shield so you don't have to hear my S's and P's. <laughs> the camera flipped out as I did that. Thank you, camera. So, anyways, been Kenoki too, or Kenoki actually. Smoking Jacket Hour. Thanks for watching. Bye.